First of all, we're going to do a lecture on Dr. Noh Abkimi bin Abdullah. Today, we'll be presenting on our subject of EMT 2082, Super Bio Bahan. Our topic of our presentation will be bone graft in dental application, Sukunya implant. So, these are group members from group 3. First of all, that's me, Nam Chung Lok, Akmal Kairi, Muhammad Kairu, Muhammad Alif, Angelika Yeo, and also Ayman Najmi. After making a purchase at the convenience store for something to eat on a, on a Sunday night, Alif made the decision to rest as he waited for his friend who was coming from IBS. While everything was going on, Alif was sit on a chair when he was approached by two students who he was not familiar with. Once there, the two students asked Alif to give them some of the food that he had bought. After that, an altercation broke out between the two of them. Then, one of the one of the two students punched Alif in the face, which caused him to bang his head on the table. As a consequence, several of Alif's teeth were knocked out, which prompted him to seek medical attention from the doctor. So, as a short introduction for our topic, from the video earlier, you can see we acted out a scene where there's a fight and someone loses their tooth. So, when someone loses their tooth, they can opt to use a uh, bone grafting to replace that tooth. So what is bone grafting? Bone grafting is a surgical procedure that replaces missing bone with material from patient's own body. This replacement can consist of artificial, synthetic, or natural substitute materials. In our case, we will be using artificial materials, which is a cornea implant. For bone grafting, it relies on a bone's tissue's ability to regenerate and also space provided so that it can go back to uh, the space provided. And different bone substitute materials, including metals, ceramic polymers, or their combinations, and their chemical, physical, and biocompatibility, properties can be considered in the process according to Zhao et al. 2021. So moving on to the next slide of the presentation. Thank you. Next up, the is intense or prolonged swelling. A level of swelling can be expected but should subside within a few days. And if the swelling continues and or is sizable, uh, this can indicate that the bone graft has not taken well with your body. Next, bone growth does not occur. Bone graft can fail without any evident symptom. However, the bone should begin to rebuild slowly. If you don't feel the bone volume has increased, then the bone graft might not be might not be a, uh, successful. The last one is gum recession. Your gums may be damaged by gum disease and recede, uh, resulting in any dental implants becoming loose. So if this is the case, your bone graft might not be so Hi, my name is Akma Kairi Benin Shaludin. My metric number is J21A0994. Today, I will present the zirconia implant. Zirconia, also known as zirconium diocide, is a material chemically derived from zircon. It consists of zirconium and oxygen element. While zirconium is a metal, due to the oxidation, zirconia is a ceramic material. Thanks to its transitional metal status, zirconia combines the strength of metal with the heat resistant power of ceramic. Zirconia is an ideal material for dental implant. It's bio inert, which means that it will never trigger chemical reaction, migrate to other sites in the body or coral. That's why it's the non metal alternative to titanium. It's naturally white color also make it a great choice for patient. Thank you. Hello, my name is Muhammad Karunidam bin Muhammad Yusuf. My metric number is J21A0842. Zirconia properties. First, they are a hypoallergenic. Zirconia is a naturally hypoallergenic material. You won't deliver side effects such as itchiness and inflammation after surgery. Two is zirconia is corrosion resistant. Zirconia doesn't corrode. It is by unit. It won't migrate to other parts of your body. Nearby material and some toothpaste can even trigger titanium to corrode faster. Three is zirconia implants are very strong. Zirconia is very durable and inflexible in pressure. That's why it is a great material for dental implant. Your teeth need to withstand the enormous force with your jaw muscle when you are eating. Good day to everyone. Uh... My name is Mama Alif bin Hamzah with metric number J21A0839. I will explain to you today what benefits come along with using Zitunia as an implant material. First and foremost, a smooth ceramic surface meets plaque and bacteria will not have cross and crevices to let onto. Secondly, which is a non-polar structure that makes bacteria less likely to adhere to the implants. Actually, the chance of many battle or hit with zirconia implant uh, highest. Next, uh, naturally hypoallergenic material that wanna cause itchiness and inflammation. If you have sensitivity or allergic to metal, you you will lower your risk of implant failure if you choose zirconia implants. 
furthermore, once they are in place, the corneal data in place will not be seen through the gum tissue because they are white. If you if your implant uh in use my zoom, you what will not have to worry about metal tails on your gums if you choose the corneal because they what cause discoloration. Lastly, strong hardness for the protein usage of chewing food so as to prevent wear and tear. Hi, my name uh, is Aiman Najmi Ben Rosmaili. My number metric is uh, J21809922. You can call me Aiman. The procedure. Uh, step 1. Uh, anesthesia. Your dental functional will use a local anesthetic to numb the surgical site. You also might need uh, IV sedation if they shush, uh the uh, tissue from your own body or if you experience dental anxiety. For the step 2, uh, extraction and or bone searching. If you are using an autograph, the dental professional will start by searching uh, the bone from the chosen uh, location. Similar similarly, if you need uh, tooth uh, removal, the surgeon will perform the tooth extraction at this time, combining tooth extraction uh, with bone grafting and encourage uh, faster healing. For the step 3 is uh, graft insertion. Next, the dental professional will truly clean the area. If you do not have an extraction, the dental professional uh, will make an incision in the gum tissue to expose the bone. Then he or she will attach the bone graft material to the exposed bone. Bone grafting is a surgical operation that rebuilds broken or damaged bones by using artificial, synthetic, or natural materials. Zirconia is an ideal material for dental implants as it is as it won't migrate to other parts of the body or choroid. Bone grafting procedure comes with advantages and limitations. One of the few advantages of bone grafting would be strong hardness to avoid wear and tear when chewing food on a regular basis. That's all from us. Thank you.